afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the Boston Red Sox. Number 29 makes his big league debut right after this. Nick Pavetta, the right-hander from Canada, will be the starting pitcher. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last outing, only allowing one run. If he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark, he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one. So up steps Ozzie Albies, and we are ready for some daytime Leading baseball. The afternoon for Atlanta, the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. First pitch, 105. Liner toward right center. Bradley is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the Nine inning. Second. The right fielder, Nick. So the base is empty here with one away and standing in the powerful right fielder Nick Markakis. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that will end up a foul ball. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Liner in there for a base hit. Markakis will round it at first and head for second now. And he'll reach second now with one away. Wow, this is a perfect example of a Wiley veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He swings and grounds it to short. Gloved by Bogarts. A tag for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Cole Hamels, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. What's your take on him, Dan? Cole Hamels, one of the top left-handed pitchers in the game of baseball. Early I'm coming on board here for a second, you know? I got a problem with keeping my finger on the run button sometimes. Dumb shit. I'll get out of here again. Two pitch pitcher, fastball, and a lot of straight changeups. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Jackie Bradley Jr. is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1 and 0. Here's the pitch. You know, he fell behind 2 0, Maddie, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball, middle of the zone. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. The windup and the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Looking for back to back K's to start the game. Boy, and he rips this ball down the left field line. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone and it got fouled off. Down the left field line and deep. Long run for the left fielder. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. The next 0 2. This is in the air out to left field. Oh, and he botches it. Batter. 
Nothing through. The right field. Alex. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. And he'll take a look at ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Has a look, now the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Marquez is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -roll. Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this game. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Red Sox leave one. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. So here's the cleanup hitter Marcelo Zuna lifetime versus this arm. He's three for 15. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Ozuna swings and it's hit well to left and out of here. And I mean by plenty that ball was crushed. Well if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup. It's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Darno. As he grounds one briskly to short, Bogarts has it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. The center field of the first team. Acuna digs in now. One run in and one gone so far this inning. First delivery to him on the way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. That's, that's he's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Dan B. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Ready with the 0-1. And this one's in the dirt. Acuna leads off second with one gun in the inning. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good... And they got him. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called. And the inning is over. But the Braves are on the board first thanks to the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 1-0 Atlanta. Last half of the second set to go. Beating and off. digging in Hold is the big time off. power threat, That's Xander Bogarts. Xander. Ball one. Bogart. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. Now here's the pitch. Oh, 
Wow, this one bounces off the pitcher. No chance to recover, and let's hope he's okay out there. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. High and deep to center field. Acuna is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Stepping up to the plate, Bobby Dahlbeck. And this at bat marks the beginning of his big league career. An exciting moment for him. I know exactly what this guy's feeling right now, Matty, and I can tell you this. Fact, he cannot feel his legs right now. The only thing I was concerned about my first big league AB is if the camera guys could see my legs shaking. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I bet he'd like to have that one over. So stepping in, Christian Vasquez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Runners are at first and second with one away. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. So here's Michael Chavis now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Here's the one one. A ball and two strikes. These are the moments right here. You got a good pitcher on the mound. You don't know if these opportunities are going to present themselves throughout the course of the game. You have to capitalize in this situation. One and two. Here it is. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. And digging in is the veteran DH, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall. First pitch fastball swung out and missed 0 1. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Batting nine. The third baseman. Austin. Digging in. Austin Riley. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit high and deep to right center. And he will make the play out there and there are two away now. Now batter, the second baseman, Ozzy Albi. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there in the inning. So here now is Jackie Bradley. He'll lead it off here against Cole Hamels. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Bradley Jr. Wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Woo, not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. 
Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Here comes the first pitch. This one's down to third. He's got it. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Two out, nobody on. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Hamels peers in. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer, and the inning is over. Red Sox go to. All set for the start of the fourth. And standing in, the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Not shocked by their aggressive nature at the plate today, but they got to change their MO if they're going to compete in this one. A bouncer up the middle and bobbled out there by Pedroia. Well, nothing earth shattering about this one. He just didn't finish the play and watch it into his glove. And now they've got the leadoff runner board and no outs. First delivery to him on the way. One run on three hits and one error on the Atlanta line score. And it's fouled away. Down the way, it's a ball and two strikes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And both guys have been coming with some low to mid 90s heat here. 96 versus 93 as the top two speeds thus far. From the belt, the pitch. Ozuna swings and it's hit well to left. Back goes Martinez, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. I guess that's what you call a one-man game. Blasted a home run to earlier in the game and gets the double this time around. If he can get a little help from his friends, they could do some serious damage. At the plate, Travis Darno. In the dirt here, the throw will go to third, and they've got him hung up out there between second and third. And he is hung out to dry as they tag him out. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Travis Darno with the solo home run as the Braves have opened up a 3 nothing lead. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. The center field. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. 
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth and Leading set off. to go as the third baseman Rafael Devers hey we're still in the early stages in this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0 and 2 this guy's been really on point so far but it's not getting any easier he has to get through four five and six right here lifted in the air toward the line and right Markek is on the run he gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning now batter. so one away Not here with the bases top. empty and Andrew. that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts first delivery to him on the way bases are empty one man out Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. 0 and 2 home now to Bogarts. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. swing right there Dan that had to feel good you're facing an elite starter you don't know if you're even going to get wood on the baseball today you know and that'll rattle you a little bit this guy's been throwing the ball great one of the top pitchers in the game he's not used to guys barreling him up and hitting him in the seats now here's J.D. Martinez this he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one so far 0 for 1 with a fly out now a swing and a fly ball and Markakis won't get there. It's a foul ball. The 1 1 home. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. The pitch. Pitch swung on and hit on the ground for Freeman over there at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batter. The first baseman. Bobby. No Digging back. in for his second at bat. Bobby Dahlbeck. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Eight. On a good curveball. Came back to catch the strike zone there, and it's 0 and 2. Down 0 2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Red Sox get a run on the solo shot by the X-Man, Xander Bogarts. We're through four. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Leading off of the break. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at 1 and 1. Pitch popped up. Pedroia is under it. Makes the play one away. Now batter. The designated hitter, Adam Duvall. Striding forward now is the DH, Adam Duvall. He's 0 for 1 thus far. In there for strike one. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 and 2 now. Back up the middle. And there's out number two. Now that third base. Austin. In now, Austin Riley comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's outside. Now the 1-0. Grounded back up the middle. 
A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a one, two, three inning, but not the case giving up that late two out knock. Boy, well, this lineup is so deep. One through nine, they could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. No hits to this point. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three. Leading off the inning, Christian Vasquez. Leading and off. they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. A one and one count now to Vasquez. Now the pitch. Nope, at the ball. I got two on the count. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Standing in, Michael Chavis looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Into the corner and slicing foul. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back to back cutters like that, we're going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Here's Jackie Bradley now. And he's at risk of the old hat trick. Two strikeouts on his line so far. Again, it seems like these hat tricks and golden sombreros are a lot more common than they were, say, 10, 15 years ago. Guys have stopped worried about striking out as much. It's really been an ideological shift in the game. That's a big topic of debate. Yeah, guy's not going to worry about three strikeouts if he can add a game-winning hit to that line. 1-1. One, one. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Eduardo Rodriguez takes over to start the sixth inning. Number 57, Eduardo Rodriguez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lifted the other way down the left field line. On the move is Martinez. But he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. So next up will be Freddie Freeman as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. The left field Pitcher's got to stay on his toes right there. You never know who in this lineup is going to pull out the old ambush. Not to right right there. Marcelo Zuna will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. One ball, no strikes to count. A ball and no strikes, here it is. Here's a swing, and oh man! Way out of here! Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. 
well he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Dylan Covey takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Number 58, Dylan Covey. In now, Travis Darno. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Three runs already home here. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. The center fielder, number 13. Ronald. Ready for another chance? Ronald Acuna. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First offering on its way. Chopped to third. High hop, and he bare hands it. And that's an incredible effort to get the second out of the inning. Now batting. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hard liner to center field. Bradley will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. But the Braves do pick up three on the strength of this three run home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Braves six and the Red Sox one. Stepping into the box, Dustin Pedroia. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hit out to Albies at second base. And that's out number one. Next up for the Red Sox, Alex Verdugo. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Wind up and the 0 1. In there and he's ahead 0 2 now. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. And there's out number two. Now batting. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Rafael Devers. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Swing and a miss, one and one. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. One run on three hits and one error on the Boston line score. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends. The Trevor Hildenberger is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Trevor Seventh inning ready to roll, and standing in is the DH, Adam Duvall. The dedicated hitter. Adam. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Ready now, Austin Riley. One for two in the ball game thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Good off-speed pitch. Had him out in front for strike one. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, somebody who was sitting on fastball and ready to do damage. 
and he was able to slow him down right there and get him off balance. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here comes the 0 1. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And the throw just does beat him at the bag. So the Jairo Munoz is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Here's Hamels back at it now as the first pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in the count. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. This is line to left. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. Here's the fourth hit of the game, and it's a good one. Puts a good swing on this thing, and it goes for a double. We'll see if they can build on it here. Jose Peraza will come off the bench now as he'll pinch hit with the runner at second and nobody out. And he fouls this one off. Tuki Toussaint makes his way toward the mound now as he'll appear in his sixth ball game of the spring. A runner at second, nobody out. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Pitch swung on and hit on the ground for Freeman over there at first. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Bobby Dahlbeck. He's still hitless in the majors after two at bats. No doubt he'd like to turn that zero batting average into a 333 here. Yeah, I know it's his first game. But after two at bats, he should be able to slow himself down a little bit. I expect him to have a nice AB right here. The 0 2 delivery struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Digging in, Christian Vasquez, runner in scoring position with Sugan. From the belt, kicks and deals. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. Ozuna is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So Jairo Munoz will remain in the game in the eighth spot and take over at shortstop. Robert Stock has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. He's set and the pitch. 0-1 the count. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. No balls and a strike to count. One out, nobody on. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's 1-2 and two now. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now.
payoff pitch home. This is hit pretty well out to left field. Left fielder looking up, and it's gone as they add still another. A solo home run off the bat of Freddie Freeman as it's now a six-run ball game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Marcelo Zuna will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, we take you back to inning number six. This was his second home run of the ball game as he'll stand in here looking for number three. He's ready. Here's the first offering. One oh. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. The one oh. Hey. One out, nobody on. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batter. The next to bat for Atlanta, Travis Darno. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Driven nicely into the gap. On his way to second is Darno. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by. No matter what, work the count, make the pitch or waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over it. Ronald Acuna is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Into center field, line drive base hit. Darno is on his way home. And now they've got the runner caught in the hot box as he thought about going home. The tag, and he is out. Braves get a run on the Freeman home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And striding oh, no, forward, the designated hitter, the designated Michael Chavis. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The 1-1. One, one. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Hey, I'm not sure what he was You're sitting on right please. there. I might have been Pink sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead Number he gets the 15. fastball way Andrew. late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Strike one to start the at bat. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Strike two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. So he racks up the swinging the strikeout on the Your breaking right, ball. Please. Andrew Benintendi hit, goes hit, down hit, for hit. out number two in number the bottom three. half. DJ. And here's a ball lifted Shut high up. into foul ground down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Chatham. A native Floridian. This is his first year at the big league level. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down. Andrew Benintendi is the new center fielder after coming on as a pinch hitter during the last half inning. Matt Barnes enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. A defensive change for the Red Sox. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Dansby Swanson is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. And now the Red Sox will get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. 
waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, one down. Ready once again, Adam Duvall. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down, one and one. That was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. Hey. A ball and two strikes now. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Boy, sure taking his sweet time down there at the plate. He'll step out yet again. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Another one two delivery. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Ready for another shot now. Austin Riley. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Count now a ball and a strike. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up he was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Now another one two. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead. Digging in, Alex Verdugo. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they? Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Austin Wright will come on as a pinch hitter. Number 35. Austin. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. No outs, nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. Markakis has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Kevin Ploiecki will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Kevin. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. Oh, one pitch on its way. Outside, that's the ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. Two down. And here's Jose Peraza. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow. A nine out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work.
seven to two the final score this afternoon the Atlanta Braves get the win on the heels of four home runs Cole Hamels pitches well enough to get the W so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the show Final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Seven runs on 12 hits. One error. They left three men on base. For the Red Sox, two runs on five hits. One error. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 20 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.